Welcome back to my generation, the all California my generation from actually sunny California. I'm standing next to a real Californian, Chris Hillman from the Birds. How you doing? Fine. How are You're you? You're still a member of the Birds. I aren't sure you? am. Yeah. I know you got a new band. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yep. But right now we're going to look at your old band, the Birds. A looking glass piece on the Birds. Zero. Ignition. I think it's largely Rogers, you know, uh, responsibility. He's he, you know, if any one of us has ever been responsible for being the birds, it's him, and he, his delivery vocally, the way he can tell a tale vocally, and the way he plays guitar is the signature of it, you know. I guess more by accident than anything, we took uh, lyrics that were more meaningful and put them, because we were from a folk background, and uh, we were trying to uh, be a rock band, and we took the folk elements and blended them in with the rock and roll, and it came out with uh, more interesting stuff. It, all of us sort of were in the dark when we went electric. We all came from an acoustic background. We weren't a garage rock band. We weren't a rock band per se. We went and, and isolated ourselves and played every night and we developed this strange, unique sound that worked. You're right, our lives have gone on and we all have stuff we're doing. We don't, none of us really have but to that do That was it. something we're all proud of. It, we it were is. part of that era and we were part of something that stands up today, that the songs had depth. And that's something we're really proud of. Welcome back to my generation, the all Californian version of my generation, standing here on the beach in sunny Venice with Chris Hillman from the Birds. Yes, sir. I was going to say formerly of the Birds, but you still are. You still are. I think I'm still a member. I think yeah. that uh, there's still a Birds there. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure there is. They were a pretty good band. We, I came and saw you with the whole of my band. We arrived in California one night in 65, and Derek Taylor took us to the uh, trip. Yeah. And we saw you. Fanta you were a fantastic band, because in England we'd never heard rock and roll country music. We'd had like country music like Johnny Cash kind of country music like Conway Twitty but we'd never heard a rock and roll band who could do that we played uh, Peter we played at the trip I remember one time with Paul Butterfield opening for us and they were so good that we rose to the occasion I mean I don't think we've ever played better than this one particular week at the trip and in those days you might remember we would do a week at a club right. rather than one night and uh, it was fun yeah you were great because all the all the songs you might have been that particular week you might have seen us. Yeah. Right. It was in like 65. Yeah. It was just after that you'd, you'd been up to the Beatles house and stayed there right. and we rented the house and there was Did all you? kinds of paraphernalia that was left around but we threw that away. We don't need to mention that paraphernalia though. Well, do we? I don't know what they had up there but yeah. yeah it, was a pretty, it was an amazing house wasn't it actually. <laughs> yeah. Everyone got to stay there. It was a good period for rock and roll because yeah. all these English white boys would come to, you know, very white skinned boys would come to America and get sunburned by that pool. Cary Grant's pool it was. I think so. It yeah. belonged to him. Yeah. Well, that was a good time. We're going to look at Hey, Mr. Tambourine, Mr. Tambourine Man, mm -hmm. a Swedish TV show. Do you remember anything about Sweden? I, you know, we went over there in, I think, 66. We went to Sweden, uh, Scandinavia. That's probably when this was done, maybe 67. All right. But, uh, yeah, let's look at it. I'll let's remember. look at Mr. Tambourine Man, <laughs> the birds. Hi, Peter Noon. Back with you on the beach in Venice on My Generation, standing here with Chris Hillman from the Birds. How are you doing? Just fine, sir. We are getting Just pretty fine. sunburned out here, but you, uh, you're Californian, so well, you're okay. And yeah. you have a good tan. I think you you now live here, so it's... Uh, I try and stay out of the sun as much as I can because I, I don't want my nose to turn like Ronald Reagan's did there, you know, with the yeah, thing. Uh, I'm yeah, afraid yeah. Of it. we have to watch that out here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, why do you think so many bands came... I mean, I know why lots of bands came out of my town, Liverpool, and we came over here and suddenly the Americans got it all back and you were sort of one of the people who started the Californian rock and roll scene. Well, you know, I think uh, stylistically, California was always uh, known for uh, vocal. Beach Boys, uh, Birds, uh, for vocal groups. And then, of course, uh, the Love and Spoonful, I think, came out here in the 60s. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of people moved out here. Of course, the climate was great. And then in, as the late 60s came around, early 70s, the business shifted from New York right. to Los Angeles. And uh, more or less developed out here full time. Right, but, but I mean, you know. we're going to look at an Eagles clip, and I think the the band who got the most energy from the Birds of all the bands yeah. that came afterwards, I think they must have listened a lot to your records and found that like. I mean, it's the same thing. It's like rock and roll mixed up with country mixed up with folk. Absolutely, I think the Eagles uh, were a, were a logical extension of what the Buffalo Springfield and the Birds and the Love and Spoonful were doing, and it's almost in a sense of football. We handed the ball off to them, right, and they took it way down, many touchdowns, so yeah, they yeah. did great. But yeah. well, we're going to look at some Eagles now. Great. I think this is the long run.